Hi, my name is Ben, and this is a day in life of ethical hacker. I have my cousin Sean here shadowing, and we're gonna show you what it's like to be an ethical hacker. You ready for this? Let's do this. I've designed two puzzles for him to follow along. One is gonna show him how easy it is for hackers to guess passwords, and the second one is gonna be based on one of the most common vulnerabilities that I find in websites. Don't go anywhere, because later, I'm gonna quiz him to see if he's learned anything about what I do for a living. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Before we jump into me telling you what I do, what do you think it is that I do for a living? Uh, don't you like hack into companies and like steal stuff? I don't steal stuff, I work as an ethical hacker. So instead of stealing things, what I'll do is I find vulnerabilities in their assets or their products. I report it to them and we work with their permission versus a cyber criminal. Why don't I show you how it's done? Hey Adam. How's it going, hey, man? man? How's it going? So I hack companies and then we talk about it. And him and I designed the exact hack we did into a the puzzle so other people could also learn. All right, that's cool. It's based on a hack that I did when I hacked into a prison system. Geez, a prison system? <laughs> yeah, so it's part of it. We get to hack a bunch of different things. How do you know where to go and like what places to hack exactly? So the hacking that I do, the ethical hacking bit, is invited only. So people tell us like, hey, this is our product. Come and hack this product and in return, we'll give you an award if you find something. All right, so I'm 16. So if I want to get into this, how would I get into ethical hacking? You can go down the traditional way of going to like a school and doing a cybersecurity program. But honestly, a lot of it is just hands-on learning on your own. I went to school and I didn't like the, the degree that I was going in. I did computer science and I met some people that were like, hey, you can make money from hacking. I watched a lot of these like puzzles that other people that created and I just dedicated a lot of time to learn it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So what are the different types of like hacking you can do? You can do what I did. I really doubled down on like being really good at web hacking or you can become a jack of all trades. You can do uh, mobile hacking, you can do hardware hacking, you can do social engineering, you can do network pen testing. You can go get a job at a company, for example. So you make a pretty good living based on doing all this stuff. It's a good living, but it's also like not consistent, right? There's months when I make a good amount of money and then there's months and I'm like sitting at my house, I'm like, I have nothing to do right now. Like, or I, I find something else and I make content or I go teach. What's the most money you've made off like one single company? 40,000, but it wasn't all just me. It was me and like 12 of my other, other friends. We hacked a big tech company and the, the bounty total was like 41,000 and we split it all between the three of us. And that was for eight hours of work. So how do you hacking into companies benefit them? We essentially find vulnerabilities that could prevent a breach, could prevent people like losing access to their stuff, or even leaking people's personal information like their birthday, their, their address, their social security number. All that could cost you money and also these companies money if a you know, breach happens. So if you're ready to look for jobs, click the link down below and download the Indeed app. So I just created a fake website and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my cousin pick a password and I'm gonna show him based on information online, social media, and some of the mistakes people make, how easy it is for hackers to find their password. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to uh, guess someone's passwords. I'm gonna use this tool. I'm gonna make a bunch of like random passwords. I'm just gonna copy all this and I'm going to pull it into my tool right here. I'm gonna say, hey, I want you to see if you can find a successful password. I'm willing to bet your password is this one. No way, jeez, how did you do that? It's obviously not as easy as this, but I've done this to some companies when someone's password was just literally password123. So what I've done is I've set up a safe environment, a fake website, and I'm gonna show Sean one of the most like easy and also like common bugs that I find on these websites. And so a lot of times when you log into a website, if you look at the top, there's like a bunch of information. You probably ignore half of this stuff, but I, I can't ignore it because that's how I, you know, I find bugs. But you see sometimes there's like numbers up here. You go like account and sometimes there's a number, right? But sometimes incrementing that number, it could show me someone else's account. So it's just, it's just as easy as changing that number. It shows me like this account number, and right here I could see it has this much money in it. This is the account number. Next one, same thing, this much and this much. Next one, and I go to the company and say, hey, if I change this number right here, it shows me another company's information. Hmm. It's crazy how you can hack and do these things so easily that you can't beat me in a single video game. <laughs> <laughs>
What is one of the mistakes you learned that people make and that could become an issue with people getting hacked? Their passwords are too personal to them so people can easily find, make a guess based off social media and other websites. What do you think some of the skills are to become an ethical hacker? Having knowledge of computers and what's going on in the backgrounds of just looking at a basic website and also just having the curiosity and um, like passion for it. How much money do you know ethical hackers can make? Um, as little as 100 per bounty or up to 100,000. If you like this video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe. See ya. It's like a power react, pull up your, I don't know, your Snapchat and try to guess your password. My, son, my Snapchat password's a little bit different, but you made my password. Did I? I don't remember your password. Maybe when I was like, nine. Don't, say, nah, don't say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't remember it. I don't remember it.